So now we move on to the first question of the chemistry section within unit one. So if we zoom in, we'll begin. So it reads, sodium Na reacts with water. Sodium hydroxide, NaOH, and hydrogen, H2, are made. So write a balanced, simple equation for this reaction. You get two marks for this. So you need to identify where the two marks are coming from. One mark for writing in the simple equation, and one mark for that balancing of the simple equation. So if we turn to the revision guide for some help, um, the area that you should be recalling is here, under balancing equations. If we zoom in, we can see the very example given is what you're being asked about in the exam question. So it says here sodium plus water equals sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen. But as they're asking for the symbol equation, what you need to recall is step four, where it gives you the balanced symbol equation. For the two marks, all you need to do is write this step four as it is. But within this section, it's advisable to memorize step one and step four. Steps two and three is just basically the steps in between to get to step four. They're never really gonna ask you to just write the symbol equation that's not balanced. Nine times out of 10 is always gonna be about balanced symbol equation. So to save you um, revision time, steps one and four need revising. However, um, had they asked you about sodium water, they could have asked you something else like calcium carbonate and nitric acid. So it's advisable to memorize this step as well, step one and step four. And uh, sometimes they like to catch you off guard and ask you about the demila. So it's advisable to memorize this as well. So basically step one, four on the sodium water example and step one, four on the calcium carbonate and nitric acid example, because after all, this higher tier material and this displayed formula as well. The next exam question is the, pretty much the same question that we just did, but reworded differently. If we zoom in, yeah, you'll see what I mean. So the question reads, sodium reacts with water. A gas which burns with a pop is made. An alkali solution is also made. Complete the word equation for this reaction. So we're told that sodium plus water equals blank space plus blank space. So for two marks, you have to fill in the two blank spaces, one mark for each blank space. So they're basically asking you to recall the information from the same part of the revision guide that we just seen, which is here, where you're told that the word equation is sodium plus water equals sodium hydroxide and hydrogen. So to get to two marks, you gotta write in sodium hydroxide and hydrogen. Now this just goes to show how important um, examples in the revision book is. If the examples are given, it's likely to be syllabus specific and therefore highly examinable on. So when examples are given in this book, just memorize it because because there's a high chance that it's going to come up in the exams. So these questions are nice, easy one mark ones. If we zoom in, you'll see why. So it reads, the formula for calcium hydroxide is CaOH2. How many oxygen atoms are there in the formula CaOH2? So for one mark, you should know that everything inside the brackets is times two and everything outside the brackets is times one. So there's one calcium, two oxygen, and two hydrogen atoms. So how many oxygen atoms are there? Well, the answer is two oxygen atoms, and that will get you the one mark. So the next question asks, what is the total number of atoms in the formula CaOH2? So you know, if there's one Ca, two O, and two H, the answer is five number of atoms in total. So the thing is, they could have asked you about the formula for a different compound. It didn't necessarily have to be calcium hydroxide. So if that's the case, it's highly advisable for you to memorize all of this higher tier section here, because especially if it tells you, you need to know the formula for these compounds. So basically, memorize all the wording and the accompanying symbols for that word. So for example, iron 2 carbonate is, is FeCO3, you know, manganese carbonate, MnCO3. It's not hard. I mean, with all the exercises that you do in class and that you do for homework, all these will be like second nature to you anyway. You can just recall it just like that. But it's just a reminder that you do need to know these because if it's in the book and it's under the higher tier, they're likely it's likely to come up in the exam questions as these little one marks here and there asking you about formulas, asking you about that. So if you have these things memorized and the question does come up, you don't feel like you're being caught off guard because you're familiar with that stuff already.